seen this video coming from a mile away. But hey, beautiful people around the world, just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. And hey, we wish you nothing but a boost in all you guys' life that you're just doing well. Happy holidays, that your finances are boosted, your jobs, your careers, your occupations, that nothing but the best goes on in your lifetime. And hey, and that you get what you want at the end and that you get a good deal. But um, let's check this video out, y'all. Let's check it out. Yeah, we got some more from Charge Drive. And this one is GM can't sell EVs. Biggest EV market crash of our lifetime has just begun. And we already know this. We already seen this from a mile away. And if you've been in the market recently, it is pretty crazy. But hey, it's the end of the year and things are going to start to look somewhat good. Um, with all this inventory that has piled up and um, Black Friday is coming up soon. So y'all be on the lookout. Prices are already starting to drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. So, hey, now <laughs> you be ready. And um, again, if y'all in the market, comment down below. Um, if you're in the EV market, please, you know what I'm saying? Show some love. Y'all know me being an EV owner for the last three years, I have nothing but good things to say. But again everybody preferences are still different perspectives um we do appreciate our ice vehicles our combustion steel and um that's one thing i wish this ev push stops slandering is our combustion you know what i'm saying we can't forget about our combustion that good old oil you gotta change at all you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? you got to change at all tonight and get underneath that car and change that transmission fluid and that alternator you know what I'm saying? That oil change. Some of y'all ain't did an oil change in the last five years. You still riding. Check engine light on and everything. Unbelievable. But hey, let's check this video out, y'all. GM can't sell EVs. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we already knew that, huh? <laughs> let's check it out, family. Comment down below if you're riding in that GM EV, baby. Facing a huge EV crisis, and CEO Mary Barra just issued a shocking warning to all EV makers, leaving them upset and confused. She literally said, we're not able to sell EVs and are shutting down production. Move back to combustion engines before it's too late. Oh man. A massive scam of overpriced EVs has just been exposed, leaving no choice for Mary Barra but to slam the brakes on their EV plans. The entire EV market is crashing and there's no demand for overpriced electric vehicles. This massive warning comes as a brutal alarm to all EV makers trying to fool the common man. But did you know GM is involved in this shady practice too? Oh, Mary Barra could man. be leading her company into a financial disaster and I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. If you thought GM was doing well, you couldn't have been more wrong. But Mary Barra might have just saved the company with her latest move. In an unexpected turn of events, General Motors and Ford, two titans of the automotive industry are diverting their billions of dollars from electric vehicles to gas-powered cars and trucks. Can't sell an EV, but they can sell that Corvette <laughs> with that with the red material, with that nice V8 engine in there. You can sell that V8 though. Yes, indeed. <laughs> is losing billions and Mary Barra issued a brutal warning in panic saying we're not able to sell EVs and bleeding money by the hour shift to combustion engines before it's too late recently GM made headlines with its decision to delay the production of electric trucks at its Orion Michigan plant the initial plan was to roll out the Chevy Silverado EV and GMC Sierra EV by late 2024 but now this has been postponed to 2025 the reason EV pickups are getting brutally rejected by customers. This decision reflects a broader trend in the automotive market. It's too high right now. Enthusiasm for EVs seems to be fading. Automakers are now grappling with piles of unsold EVs at dealerships, indicating a shift in consumer interest. GM was confident that everyone would buy their cars, even at ridiculous markups. Yeah, so nah, so no, it don't work that way. Even started charging a subscription fee to use certain features in your car. I know it sounds ridiculous, and more on that in a minute. GM's move to delay its EV truck production doesn't just affect the company's strategy, it has wider implications for the industry and labor market. 
About a thousand employees at the Orion assembly plant are now being offered transfers to other Michigan plants, including Detroit's Factory Zero, which already produces the Silverado EV and Hummer pickup and SUV. Many people are being fired without pay, and GM is losing $200 million every week due to worker strikes. With them, we also have another company that's inching closer to bankruptcy if they don't fix things in time. More on that towards the end of this video. Under CEO Mary Barra's leadership, GM has been navigating what could be the biggest loss in its history. The company has been betting big on EVs, autonomous technology, and subscription software. However, these strategies are now encountering significant customer pushback. GM's robotaxi unit Cruise recently faced a major setback with the revocation of its permit to operate in San Francisco over safety concerns. Simultaneously, GM has been forced to shut down its current target of producing 400,000 EVs by the first half of 2024, attributing this change to slowing demand, manufacturing bottlenecks, and profitability issues. GM is also re-evaluating its approach to revenue-generating subscription services, leading to delays in key EV product launches. This includes the Chevrolet Equinox EV and the Chevrolet Silverado EV RST, among others. Much like BMW and other luxury car makers, Mary Barra now wants to charge a subscription fee for using certain features in your car. How ridiculous is that? Earlier this year, GM joined hands with Honda and pledged to make affordable EVs priced under $30,000. Don't y'all get sick of hearing about that, though? All these subscriptions. So, dude, buy, you, get, you already got the car. And Tesla does this as well. You know, I'm sick of all these subscriptions. I got to pay $10 a month for premium connectivity. The fuck? Oh, I got to pay an extra two, three, uh, three thousand dollars for the premium driving package of of auto navigation and 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 and, and, and traffic lights and 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 and, and traffic uh, uh, satellites and stuff. That's ridiculous, man. You know. The price that we pay for the car should be already included in. What is going on in today's time, man? I just don't. I can't wrap my head around these extra chargers, uh, extra charging for subscriptions, and oh, we, you do this, you, 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 your car gets this, this. It should already be added in. But anyways, we'll 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 say that for another video. Now, GM has completely shut down the cheap EV company. Why? Because Mary Barra thinks they cannot profit from making cheap EVs. Like her $29 million salary wasn't enough for her already. Barra pointed out that battery costs are still pretty high, which makes it tough to hit that sweet spot in the market where most people buy cars. She would rather make pickups that can sell for over $60,000 instead of introducing more budget options. When asked how she plans mm. on bringing down the costs, she said they are hoping to reduce battery production costs, but it can't be done before 2030. Here's the deal with EVs and traditional gas cars or ICE vehicles. Barra thinks it'll be a while before the costs of EVs and ICE vehicles line up. We're talking maybe later this decade or even beyond. It's a bit of a waiting game. The upcoming EV market crash is further making things worse for GM. This decline isn't just impacting automakers like General Motors and Tesla, but is also affecting companies along the supply chain, including lithium producers essential for EV batteries. Abelmarl, the world's leading lithium company, experienced a stock decline following an analyst downgrade from UBS. This downgrade was attributed to falling lithium prices, a direct consequence of reduced EV forecasts. UBS analysts noted a decline in lithium demand growth from 30% year over year to 22% in 2024, leading to an earlier than expected lithium oversupply. Livent, another lithium technology company, has also seen a downward trend in its shares, dropping 24% year to date. Lithium prices in China's spot market have decreased significantly, moving below $20,000 per ton, a stark contrast from a year ago when prices surpassed $70,000 per ton. This price fall reflects the changing mm. dynamics in the EV market. Yeah. In response to this changing landscape, GM has delayed the production of electric trucks, citing poor EV demand. 
Similarly, Ford observed that U.S. EV buyers are not willing to pay premiums over gas or hybrid vehicles, impacting EV prices and profitability. Tesla has also hit pause on construction of its upcoming Gigafactory in Mexico due to global economic conditions. CEO Elon Musk expressed concerns about high interest rates, emphasizing the importance of making products more affordable. This revised outlook in the EV sector has led battery manufacturers to reduce lithium purchases for EV batteries. Panasonic, a Tesla supplier, has lowered its annual profit forecast, indicating market caution. The current scenario in the EV market signifies a transition period. Despite the committed investments of approximately $616 billion by automakers in EVs, the actual demand is not aligning with these projections. Nearly 1 million EVs produced this year are rotting in dealer lots, unsold. unsold. The sale rate for EVs in the U.S. has slowed down significantly, now taking about twice as long to sell an EV compared to the previous year. The pricing disparity between EVs and their gasoline counterparts remains a critical challenge. Luxury EVs have fared better due to their affluent customer base being less affected by price hikes. However, for the mass market, EVs remain prohibitively expensive. Tesla, a leader in the EV market, has had to reduce prices to maintain sales volume with cuts as deep as 30% this year. The company's automotive gross margin has also declined, seen those cuts. reaching its lowest point in over four years. Ford's electric vehicle unit, Model E, reported a significant operating loss, and the company expects to lose billions on EVs this year. The sales of Ford's Mustang Mach-E have dropped drastically, and the company is reducing the production of this vehicle. Despite overall EV sales growth, these figures are overshadowed by the increase in hybrid vehicle sales. People are preferring to buy a hybrid as compared to an EV, and no one can hide this reality. Mary Barra only well, y'all know most people say, well, they say, well, I want to go EV, but where should I start at? What do most people say? Well, shit, you should go and get you a hybrid. Go and get you a hybrid. Start off with that hybrid, then make your way over to that EV. Shoo! <laughs> only has one way to save her company from dying. Focus on what GM has been doing successfully for decades, making combustion engines. Ford's Jim Farley is also joining hands with GM and abandoning EVs for now just to make more ICEs so his company doesn't go under. So GM has flipped the script a bit. They're pouring they, over $2 billion into their plans V8. for new <laughs> combustion engine vehicles. They're planning to beef up their Arlington, Texas plant with $500 million to get ready for future internal combustion engine SUVs. This plant is where the big guns like the Chevy Tahoe, GMC Yukon, and Cadillac Escalade roll out. Yeah. You might be wondering, why go big on combustion engines now? Well, it's all about balancing the books and keeping up with what customers want. GM's heavy-duty pickups, like the Chevy Silverado HD, GMC Sierra HD Denali, are selling like hotcakes. In 2022, they sold nearly 288,000 of these beasts, up 38% from the year before. GM's not just throwing money around, they're planning this out. For instance, at the Flint assembly plant, they're investing $788 million for the new ICE heavy-duty trucks. This includes expanding the body shop and adding new tools and equipment. Over at the Flint Metal Center, they're dropping another $233 million for new stamping dies for these trucks. The shift to combustion engines doesn't mean GM is ditching EVs entirely. They're still on track with their EV plans but they're also smart enough to know that big, powerful trucks and SUVs are what a lot of people in the U.S. are after. It's like having the best of both worlds, electric for the future and combustion for the now. So, what's the takeaway? GM is playing it smart. They're investing in what sells and keeping an eye on the future with EVs. It's a juggling act, but they're showing they can handle it. This move is a clear signal that combustion engines aren't going anywhere soon, especially when it comes to big vehicles that Americans love. With GM finally back in their senses, there might be some hope left after all. Do you think Mary Barra has got what it takes to save GM from dying? Oh, Mary Barra. And should GM abandon EVs completely in favor of gas-powered cars? Let me know down in the comments below. Y'all comment down below, man. Jeez, General Motors, man. But again, we've seen this video coming a mile away. We already knew it was coming. And again, y'all, just keeping you guys updated, man, in this, East, in this crazy market, you know, this crazy world, what's going on right now with all these companies and these big-time brands and these CEOs, 
you know and we see all these evs just sitting on the lot looking pretty um probably not even charged up you know y'all know how it is man but prices are starting to drop a little bit starting to drop real crazy as we get into um the end of the year december we should see a big big drop on a lot of things that you probably want and that you're probably in the market for um but a lot of drop on uh products very very shortly and um y'all comment down below how is it for you in the market but um wishing everybody an okay life that everybody gets what they deserve and that they get an amazing deal you know what i'm saying and that everything in your life is boosted especially when it comes to your finances and hey i love you guys wishing the best for you happy holidays go spend some time with your family enjoy it and i will catch y'all in the next one peace and love y'all